Hey, Leslie here, answering your spiritual questions. A great recent question from a client in our practical spirituality training. She said, Leslie, my neighbor from her Baha'i faith has a practice and an app on her phone that every day reminds her, remember, you're gonna die. My client's question was, isn't this kind of like a negative thing to do, especially with the messages that you're sending to your body? Won't it lead to things like illness or your body breaking down faster because you're always reminding it that it's going to die? This is an excellent question and one we are going to answer together in this video. Hey, welcome back. Leslie Huddert here. I am a healer and spiritual guide, and I help seekers, healers, and highly sensitive people release the trauma that's been trapped in their body so that you can make decades of progress in weeks without going to therapy for years and years and years. And in this video, we're talking about a spiritual question, really. This idea that we'll see in many bona fide spiritual traditions, especially of Eastern origin that remind us about what is sometimes called impermanence or the fact that we're all going to die. On the surface, nobody likes to think about death or correction to be more specific, no minds like to think about death. When I use mind, and I'm using this as a very general mm, umbrella term that gets broken down when we get into Sanskrit and different traditions that are sort of talking about the nature of the mind. But for our purposes, the mind versus the more soul or heart parts of us. The mind part is the part of us that would like things to be permanent and does everything that it possibly can in life to promote this idea that not only is the mind permanent and the best and the only trustable source of reality, so you must rely on it and fear, which is its basis, but that we also have to be careful and ignore things that go against that, namely the fact that we're all going to die. So the short answer to is focusing on the reality of death, a negative thing for your body. The short answer is no, but let's explain why. It can be helpful here to make a distinction in between conceptions of the mind versus universal laws or functioning reality. Now, part of the confusion here comes from a little bit of new agey influence, which kind of takes positive negative to the extreme when we talk about things like affirmations and things like that. This is not totally bad. New Ageism is great in terms of kind of getting out of the mundane and trying to take more personal responsibility for things. The part that's true about this is that if you have to choose between thinking positive thoughts and negative thoughts, you should probably choose positive thoughts. They do have an influence. What you think does have an influence on you. What you focus on does grow and become more part of your awareness. However, it's not that simple. If you'd like the deep dive on this, I have a whole course and workshop on going beyond manifesting, taking the parts that are actually true, plus coupling them with things that actually work because you've probably noticed just thinking, I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire, I easily attract a million dollars, hasn't probably put you in the millionaires club yet. There are some issues underneath that you gotta work out if you really wanna do manifesting in a way that actually works and not just in a new agey fly by night kind of way. It sells a lot of journals, doesn't change a lot of lives. So. When we come back to the mind, we have to differentiate this idea of death. Realizing that you are going to die is something that can be checked, particularly that your physical body is going to die. We can look out at nature and reality and we can see that everything that is born or comes into being goes through a period of growth or formation, has a period of maturity and starts to decline and physically die. You can search and I would encourage you to scour the earth and examples and try and find one single example that does not fit that. This is what the scientific mind should be, a way to actually look at the environment and test. And the more we look at ancient spiritual traditions, they were doing this kind of inquiry process. So when we can find something that is always true and we have never or ever or seen an exception to it, we can start to tentatively put that in the category of universal truth. Now, what that means for you is that this idea that you're going to die is not a positive negative thought. It's not a conception of the mind. So in that way, it doesn't harm us the way that negative thoughts do. It is instead an actual 
reality truth of what being an embodied human in the video game of incarnated life is all about. The other thing that's important to say here that is wider than we can tackle in this video is a reminder that we're always playing two games on the spiritual path. We are playing the inner world game of what's really true about spiritual reality. These are questions like, who and what am I really? What's really going on here? Is there a loving organizing principle of the universe? What do I call that? What kind of relationship do I have to that? And we have an outer world game, which is the manifested world. How to be a human, how to work a job, how to have work-life balance, how to interact with other people. And so when we clear that up and we don't mix up the two, this question of realizing that we're going to die is understanding the nature of the outer reality. And in many ways, it allows us to truly live. It allows us to have a right understanding of who and what we are inwardly, the game that we're playing outwardly, and to play it better in that way. There is no negative influence in this way because it would happen no matter what. Even if you deny death, it will still happen to you. Nobody's getting out of this alive. So what we work instead is to understand the difference between inner world understanding of who we are and the outer world, which is bound by these rules, including death. I hope that uplifted you and noticed where you are and where you can expand and get into better understanding with the nature of reality. If you need help with that, I'll put some links with that below, kind of what we do around here. And I'm wishing you so, so well. Take this day and make it yours and have a right understanding of who and what you really are. This is Leslie Hunter. I will see you next time.